cryogenic array. All residents must vacate immediately. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, God. Now, one of the things I always felt, well, I always thought was sort of annoying about I'll find this who game. did this. <clears throat> and I'll get Sean back. Modders add too much stuff that's front loaded to right when you start playing for the first time. I like stuff that you can discover over time. And that was one of the goals I had with the creating of the mods. That we're going to be sharing with everybody is that they don't all start immediately all at one time. Now, one of the very first mods that I picked up allowed me to, when I first started playing this game, is I picked up something that allowed me to read terminals really fast. And I always thought that was incredibly beneficial. I also picked up a mod that allowed me to um, enter and exit power armor really fast, which, again, I find incredibly useful in terms of the enjoyment of the paper. As you see, as Nora exits the vault, everything is blurry and disorienting. Ah. And everything that she used to know is destroyed. There's shells left of buildings that she used to be quite familiar with, etc., etc., etc. So, here we go. Here we go. As you see her old house, everything is destroyed. She has Codsworth right there. Who, by the way, I'm not gonna have her talk to right this minute. I'm just gonna have her rush inside and grab a couple of perks. There we go. Like that magazine. Like the your special. I'm having it add to her intelligence right away because intelligence has to do with how fast you gain experience, which of course has a lot to do with how fast you level up in the game. So I figured gathering those things first is probably a good idea. Now one of the first mods that I really enjoyed getting for my gameplays has been, you know how you have Sanctuary and then you have this kind of broken bridge? Well, I got a mod that allowed me to enjoy a patched bridge. And I thought, well, heck, this is awesome because frankly it's... as settlement I go to frequently in my playthroughs, so I don't want to constantly have to go over Broken Bridge. Also, I also picked up a mod that allowed me to, once I have discovered these two unfortunates on the ground, that they will disappear after a little bit of time in the game. I don't constantly have to see them refreshing over and over their outfits and loot, but never leaving the actual game world. Matter of fact, I think the new mod actually adds to <laughs> better immersion than the vanilla game on that score. Ah, okay. Here we go. So I picked up another new mod in the game that allows me to have Hey boy, meet, what are you out doing out here all, all by time. yourself? But I did notice that it changed you the name come with me, from dog meat when you hover your mouse over it to just call it the poor animal. Okay, a generic then. name of dog. Let's stick together. I found that kind of annoying. So, as we have opened up two settlements, we've opened up, as you can see, under data, under, not quests, but under workshops, we've opened up Red Rocket, and we've opened up Sanctuary, with very little amount of time involved in doing either. 
which is quite nice. Me. You really? So Last you time those raiders hit us, a bit with now she's better. You That's get a chance why we need them. to mm -hmm. hear a little bit about his backstory, of course, but also... There's nothing you worse a than losing a child. Begin a quest Believe me, I know. His farm. I'm sorry to hear you say so. As a I don't have much to want. If you could get it back... So we're going to do that. We're going to go ahead and don't worry. rescue a necklace. I'll get that locket back for you. Good. And one of the things I liked about the base game was Lucy allows you to pick a few resources for and work. make a little we bit of cash. We could use some help picking melons if you've got some spare time. And she's not, like, sure. demanding I got time to help out. Else, Great. And she's not bitter about to be it. Now, like, about but whenever you get the time. I like that. So that's kind of cool. And Connie's kind of a hard New ass. Here? Well, if you've got anything worth... But the cool part is you can barter Sounds with her. Sounds good. And as you look at our barter menu, it's pretty minimal. And I was thinking about that, you know, the minimal barter menu that she has. And that impacted where I was going to put my um, energies when I was producing Immersive Stories mod. I decided that I wanted to produce a companion that's relatively near Sanctuary, relatively near Abernathy Farm, relatively near Red Rocket Truck Stop. But far enough away that you don't have to recruit this companion unless because you don't you're not force greeted by this companion at any time to start a mission with them. But you can choose to connect with them right away. So I made Gwen Dillinger. I put her here at this trailer. There's a few resources that I added, like I added this armored duds and a storage box that requires a lockpicking Lock skill. Tight. As you can see right now, my character is brand, brand new, so she does not have the ability to open that right now. She doesn't have the lockpicking um, skill set yet. This is Gwen Dillinger. As you see, she's not force greeting you. You actually have to talk to her before she starts talking to you. There we go. So, she is now a companion. Now watch what happens. When companions are recruited, one of the first ways you know that is if they will kneel with you when you kneel. So when you kneel, and you pull out your weapon, and they kneel with you, they pull out their weapon, then you know they're already following you. They're now your follower. So one of the things I also produced for Immersive Stories mod is I created something called Hardy Porridge. And as you can see, it's right here, something that you can pick up right next to where you recruit Gwen. So you can pick that up no matter what level you are, whether or not you have any skill points or not. It's one of the nice little perks about where it's located. I also produced something for this mod called Pretzel Bits, and they also help with health and uh, damage resistance. And you can open up Gwen's storage box anytime. You don't have to open it up right now. There are a few things that Gwen has here uh, while she's been kind of hiding out in this shack that come with the mod that I've produced. And part of it is what's going on right here. Uh, hey. <laughs> dog got in the way. It's kind of a thing he does. Uh, go over over there, here. Go over there. Poochie. Okay. I'm going to pick up these Dillinger Rye Whiskies and these Maggie's Moonshines. And a couple other things that came with the vanilla game and perhaps some other mods as well. And pick that stuff up. Uh, of course, because, you know, I love to pick everything up. Okay, Gwen has a couple of things that came to her from other people. Somebody wrote her a letter, and somebody also gave her some instructions related to her past life before she meets you. Here's that, and here's this one. Okay, so you can pick those up. You can also pick up some books. I guess she's been kind of hoarding books, reading, chilling, doing her thing while she's been waiting for someone to talk to you, I guess. Hit the road with. So here's Gwen. You're now hitting the road with her. Thanks for watching this quick introduction from TJ Oliver Books. We look forward to debuting Immersive Stories mod on the Nexus soon. Meanwhile, Gwen Dillinger and friends are wrapping up development, so stay tuned.